Hey everybody, this is Janice and I'm in a township in Illinois called Funks Grove. Just turned off of Route 66, the historic highway, and we're going to be talking pawpaws today. Do you want to see some pawpaws? There are so many birds out here. Yes. Are there pawpaws close? Right on the edge here. Yeah. Yeah. Between here and then, we, we live right down in McLean, there are so many birds. Wow, it's like loud at night. I love it. <laughs> Uh, walnut trees. We call that the old orchard because there's these like ancient fruit trees that someone planted a long time ago. <laughs> but, now we get to have them. Um, growing corn in here because we only had so much seed from the variety we really want. <laughs> and he's ready to keep it protected. Yeah. So there's one right there. I knew there's some over here, but I couldn't remember exactly where. You're like, yeah, sure, there is. <laughs> <laughs> and this is how, once again, I wind up wandering in the woods. <laughs> Never to be seen again. I doubt that it'll be any proven this, because those trees are pretty young, but maybe we'll find some. There is a lot in here. I mean, it's to the point where they just grow aggressively. Like, it'll just grow into the paths that they have in the woods for the syrup operation. Oh, really? I mean, just have to, like, get them out of the way. Yeah. I see one little fruit. That's a pretty big tree. Yeah. Bigger than I thought it was. One fruit right there. <laughs> you see it? Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm probably not going to spend time trying to pick that one. Yeah. Soon. We can take it back to the back in there. Yeah. Get All right. The pawpaw tree. There it is. <laughs> one lonely fruit. What if I? Where nobody will ever go. Yeah. Uh, acre of uh, Floriani foot corn over there. I can show you the grapes as well here. So that's actually a pollinator plot up front by the road. Oh, okay. And there's another one back there. We got a grant. Everybody has to have pollinators. I mean, they're, they make us happy. We got a small grant for those. Have a nice. Um, and uh, that'll let us establish some trees in there. So. What's the dog's name? Oh, that's Mokum. M-O-K-U-M. Even though he won't call me. I'm not calling. I always say you can call whatever know. you want. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he doesn't know. Do you, bud? Um... This is our orchard, which we're working on electrifying because the raccoons are. They ate this every is impressive. Single, they ate every single one of our black currants this year. Every single one. Yeah. I just pulled up right, ready to pick them, and from a distance I could see that they didn't look right. Because, <laughs> oh god, how are you have the poison ivy? Okay. <laughs> Well, I wasn't gonna dare keep you out. You didn't have to run. Yeah. If there's a door open, he has to be the first one. <laughs> For reasons. I don't know. Um, Could get left behind. Yeah. So, so we're still working on filling this all out. So you but, started the trees when? Uh, I think the first trees went in 2016. Hmm. I think only about half of them are original because the fence went in later and the deer <laughs> messed up some of them. Some of them just died as will happen with trees sometimes. Um, those small peach trees we grew from seed. Yep. Um, and those are obviously a lot newer. Um, so it's black and red currants, apples, cherries, pears, peaches. Peaches are almost ready. Yeah, we... you can see the peaches are almost <laughs> ready. They um, look nice. Yeah. Oh, hey, check it out. I guess what these are. Pawpaw trees? Yeah! <laughs> I'm like, I'm looking at the leaves going, do you get it right? Right. Not these, this is just horse metal. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I, I had a bunch of seeds I saved and I was like, oh, I don't know what I'm going to do with these. I just tried, and like, I, I saved them wrong. I thought they were rotted. So I was like, I'll just put them in here. And so many of them germinated. There's like, look how many Oh no, there. they're like all on top of each other. So I really need to move those. <laughs> I mean, there's a single persimmon tree from a tree we found in Southern Illinois last fall. Um, I saved seed from that. I like seeds a lot. I can tell. <laughs> Peaches we grew from It's seed. your thing. Mm-hmm. Apples. 
Uh, those are crabs. Pears. Yeah, so same as pears. Wow. Um, I can't remember the variety name, but there's that actually might be an American. So then, oh yeah, that one. You see more of them elongating yeah, on that yeah. other tree. Yeah. Um, and then I'm just experimenting with a lot of other things, trying to figure out some new product line things. Um, are you familiar <laughs> with walking onions? <laughs> I know. I started harvesting this yesterday. I was like, actually, James might want to see this. So I stopped. They're walking onions? Yeah, so see these. So huh. they, produ they produce a bulb, you know, yeah. like a regular onion. Yeah. So that's this. You know, this is a pretty standard yeah. small onion. But then they produce these bubbles. And once the stem collapses, like eventually just they'll just kind of fold over. Then they replant themselves. And then they walk nice. around your garden. So it's like a walking onion. Um, but I mean, this part's edible. The bulb is edible. Um, makes really good scallions. So um, I'm trying to figure out, I'm trying to make a seven onion army. You know the song, um, uh, Seven Nation Army? Oh yeah. So I'm trying to make a seven onion army <laughs> blend um, that involves Seven different onions. Uh-huh. Nice. So actually, you're a gardener yourself, right? I'm, I pretend to be a gardener at times. Well, this is one of the easiest things ever. <laughs> I was going to say, so with a seed head that automatically regrows itself. I can send you home with this. And it's okay to let that go to seed and then eat the onions? Yep, you can, well, it's a little and, different from a regular onion. Right. Um, so I'm actually peeling it so we can see that. Um, because part of this will be attached to the stem and that part won't be any good. But then there's a bulb next to it. Can you even get to it? It's a little thin. Yeah, so this part would be super tough. But this is basically just an onion. Okay. Regular onion. So you can have this too if you want. It's perfectly good. <laughs> um, I don't eat onions like apples like I've seen other people, I, you know, try them. Yeah. No. I've done it with peppers of various kinds, but. Yeah, I don't do that. I don't either. do it with I don't onions. need that level of intensity. I love cooked onions, but yeah. raw onions are not into. Um, so, walking onions. Um, I harvested garlic earlier this year. Um, nigella, which I'm trying to grow for the seeds. Um, fennel, poppies, dill. I'm trying to grow a lot of seed crops yeah. to make more seasonings and things. Yeah. Um, so, not enough to actually do that. I know. He's jumping at my shadow, which is pretty much non-existent based on the day. But he thinks he knows where it is. <laughs> he's very confident. Now, why or what he thinks he's doing, I'll never know. But he likes shadows. Oh, and now he now he's gonna eat grass because he's a dog. He's still got that going for him. He's still a dog. I love the peaches, though. I mean, they really look yeah. like you need to get out here. I know. I'm, I'm giving this the squeezes and then. Um, just don't want to get it too early. Yeah. Oh, they're just about though. And the problem then is if they all are ready right that day, like right. at that time of day. Well, the big problem is feeding the raccoons because they already got in because it was the first year they already came in here. Yeah. And so now we're trying to electrify the fence in time. So how did these. they get in here? Just climb over. Both fences. Yeah. So this is for deer. Yeah. Because deer are, right. aren't able to deal with a double fence like this. Right. But the raccoons are just like, okay. Make it harder. So we'll I'll just still climb come. over it. I don't care. There must be really good stuff if they put two fences. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's more like enticement. Um, yeah. So yeah, these are just about ready to go. And then that tree will be later. I was going to say, those Asian pears or whatever look close to right too. Like the yeah. coloring on them is really... This is really... the first year we've ever had a crop on them. So I don't yeah. actually know oh. really well. So with that variety, it may not be the color you're looking for. Turkey. Oh, wow. it just flew by. Yeah. Oh. We have them around here, but I don't see them too far. <laughs> see, they're already coming off of the tree. That last big rain knocked quite a few off. I mean, that's, that storm yesterday was intense. We, was it? we had a lot of damage. Still too hard. Still too green. <laughs> yeah. My stomach doesn't want me to swallow that. <laughs> <laughs> No. Ooh, it hurt actually. Yeah, hard part in there. Right. So what's in between these trees? These are more currants that we probably okay. um, So taking a branch, layering it down. Yep. Um, yeah. Although we might regret having 
tied in so many of those. We should probably get some more varieties of those. Those are just like ones we got from Stark, and they're not very good varieties. They're not the best varieties. You want yeah. to try some others? Yeah, you know, our blackbirds we're harvesting are like this big or so, and there are ones that are like just like twice the size. Yeah. With the same seed content. Yeah. And it's just mm, we could do better. Yeah, <laughs> so. Impl improved plant breeding has done amazing things. Yeah, and it's kind of behind for. Well, at least in the, in the states for black currants, but it's catching up, and there's way better. Than, yeah, know, there's a few bushes that's like I'm not harvesting that because it's like all the fruits <laughs> in different spots. <laughs> Those pears look amazing. Don't get too close. They look kind of weird. <laughs> I mean, this is the benefit of us doing mostly processing. We don't sell any whole fruit. Yeah. Um, yeah. So if it gets dinged up on the outside a little bit. The right. cosmetic damage doesn't matter. Yep. Yep. That way we get to use every single peach that comes off the trees. Every single pear. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for checking out our videos. We'd love for you to subscribe, watch some more videos, follow our podcast in general. I'm your host, Janice Person.